so now let's start with the image grid all right get in the HTML file and create a section tag and let's write the class as wrapper space text hyphen dark to make the font color dark then bg hyphen gray to add a slight gray background to this section and then let's have the id as destinations so that we can use this id later in the css to apply some styling to this section all right then get inside and create a div tag and let's write the class as container this will add some padding around it then d hyphen flex hyphen c this will change the display property to flex and the flex direction to column so that the elements which we are going to define inside this div are stacked vertically one in a row as we have already seen alright then get inside again and let's start with the title for this section this is going to be the main heading for the section so let's create a div tag and let's write the class as text hyphen center this will align the text in the center of the screen or the center of the div tag all right then get inside and create a heading tag a h6 tag and let's write the class as heading space my hyphen one to add margin of one rem top and bottom then font x2 all right then write the text then get inside and create a paragraph text or a p tag and let's write the class as my hyphen one all right then let me just copy the text from the website if you want you can write any other thing that you want all right refresh maybe we can increase the margin top and bottom all right so we have defined the title and now let's define the images we are going to define the images in a row so there will be three images in one row then we will define the rest of the two rows in the same way so it will be easy if we can just define the first row and copy it and paste it twice and then adjust the names as well as the source files for the images to get the different images and the different text that we want with them so it will be very easy so now let's just define the first row create a ul tag or a unordered list tag and let's write the class as d hyphen flex hyphen r because we want the display property as flex and the flex direction as row so that the elements which we are going to define inside this will be stacked next to each other in one row no space to remove any space around it so that the images or the elements inside it are next to each other without any margin or padding around it all right then get inside and create a li tag and let's write the class as hover one because we are going to define two different types of image hovering effect and this is going to be the first one so let's write it hover one for now then get inside and create a img tag and this is where we are going to define the image so write the source as img forward slash india dot jpg if you have already downloaded the starter files then you might be having this img folder as well as the images inside it so you need not worry about these things and just write whatever source i am writing here then get inside and create a div tag and write the class as overlay now whatever text we are going to define under this div tag will be displayed when we hover over the image 
so it will be displayed as a kind of uh, image hovering effect so let's create a s2 tag and write india then create a link that is the e tag and let's write the class as info because we are going to use this class later in the css so make sure you use these classes all right if you want you can open the img folder and you can see the images that we are going to refer uh, all right so you can see that this li tag completely defines one image so we can copy this entire li tag and then paste it twice to get three images in one row all right now we just need to change the names of the images so that we get different images so we can see the image now so in this way we have created one row of three images now we can just copy this entire ul tag and paste it twice so that we can create two more rows in the same way and if you want you can leave a small comment here so that you know where the second row is starting and then we will adjust the names of the images and the text let's say it's france or you can follow any order of the image that you want it is irrelevant it is not important i am just randomly writing the names of the images all right then leave a comment for the third row again paste it all right then let me just adjust the names of the image again and uh, let me just change the headings as well according to the image all right so you can see that we have all the images all the nine images now as well as we have that text below the image you can see that so this completes the html part for this section now let's move to the style.css and let's start by writing a comment destinations and if you remember we have given a id destinations to the section containing this entire part so let's refer to that write hash symbol and then the name or the id space ul because ul tag is a child of the section tag then space li because li tag is the child of the ul and both of these are HTML tags, so we don't have to write a hash or a dot before them. Then get inside and write maximum width or max width as 300 pixels. So this will limit the width of the image to 300 pixels. Alright. 
but we don't have any hovering effect as of now and before moving any further let me just make a small change to the place where we have defined the flex properties so there we have defined a justify content center class we can just get rid of it and add one more property to the d hyphen flex hyphen r class that is add justify hyphen content to center because we are going to use this property every time we use this display as flex and the flex direction as column so it is better to change the property here in the class itself instead of using a separate class for this purpose and the images are now center aligned and we need to now just add the hovering effect which we are going to do in the next video Thank you.